Hi, my name is Bailey. I'm the captain on this year's Southington High School FIRST Robotics Team 195, the Cyber Knights. And today, I'm going to talk to you about building a drive team. So we're just going to go over five simple steps of building your successful drive team. First, choosing a drive team, testing the drive team, drive team practice, drive team at the competition, and overall team attitude. Choosing a drive team can be, the, can be one of the hardest tasks for the mentors in the current drive team. You're going to want to look at each position individually. You're, want to get, you're going to want to develop a group of students you feel will fit the human player position, the driver position, your secondary driver position, and your coach. Look for maturity, leadership, and experience rather than raw talent. Raw talent can be taught. Maturity, leadership, and experience in stressful situations, it can't. So you're going to want to look at potentially varsity athletes and leaders that are on the team already. A drive, any position on the drive team should be filled by a student who's involved on the team. You're not going to want to take somebody who hasn't been involved yet. After you make your decisions, you're going to want to test the drive team extensively. You're going to want to emphasize that this position is a privilege and it can be taken away at any time. After these decisions have been made, you're going to want to make sure they have cohesion and chemistry. Off seasons are fantastic for this. Make sure they work well together in the stressful situations that come in an FRC match. Drive teams should always be given a rules test and they should always know potential strategies for every match, which is what we're going to get into next at the drive team practice. Your drive team, practice, your drive team should practice just as often as your school's football team should, but you should always practice with a purpose. So for example, if you're practicing in 2013, try to run as many cycles as you can in two minutes. Or in 2014, try to score as many points as you can yourself in just the amount of time that you are given in a match. You're going to want to make sure you're not just driving around because that gets nothing done. Your drive team should develop a playbook for use in competitions. For example, 195 used a whiteboard with a field layout to help with practice, to help with developing a strategy before the match. Your drive team should always stay positive at the competition. You should always debrief with your strategy and scouts after, the, after every single match to make sure you're correcting what you did wrong. The drive team should eat, 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 and drink, drink, drink. Personally, being myself on the drive team, uh, I usually can go two days at the competition without eating, and that's absolutely terrible for me. So uh, the drive team should always eat and stay hydrated. Um, most importantly, the drive team should be making friends with the other people because you don't know who's going to be on the alliance with you. And if you make friends before that, you're going to see have even more chemistry as an alliance and it's just going to help you out in the long run. At all times, the drive team should maintain a few overall attitudes and to make sure that you're successful. You should always remain gracious and professional, just as first says. You should develop a great team cohesion and a positive chemistry. You're going to develop into a family with brothers and sisters that you just never expected. You're going to have to work closely with the strategy mentors and the scouting team to make sure that as the three sub-teams come together, you develop a winning strategy that will win matches and that will win competitions. Hi, my name is Gwen, and I am the human player for Team 195's drive team. Like Bailey's been saying, being on drive team is an honor and a privilege. But remember, you're not only driving the robot, you're serving as a representative for your team, kind of like an ambassador to another country. You need to represent your team in its best possible ways. This means that while you're a role model to your team, you're also a role model to other teams. Your job is not only to drive the robot, your job is to showcase the hard work that's been put in by all of your team members and your peers. You need to show them what the programmers have done, what the electrical team has been able to do, and the magic that the design team has worked up on the computer. Your job is to be composed, and your job is to represent your team in the best way possible. Gracious professionalism is a motto that you live by in first and outside of first. Never let it go to your head and stay humble. You'll make way more friends that way. Thank you for watching How to Build a Successful Drive Team with Team 195. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact us at our website, team195.com. Thank you for watching. Good luck this season.